Let's talk about sadness and grief, two emotions that trauma survivors avoid until they explode. Sadness isn't weakness and grief isn't drama. They're your healing department and skipping those will drop you straight into depression, AKA the red zone. Sadness is the emotion that shows up before we cry. It's that quiet voice that says, this hurts, please acknowledge it. But sadness is low energy and trauma survivors are trained to override emotional signals. We minimize, stay distracted and normalize things that hurt. And when sadness has nowhere to go, it becomes the red zone, depression. Here's the brain science in depression, your timekeeper, that part of the brain that tracks time goes offline. So every problem feels endless, heavy, permanent. But there's a second piece people never talk about. SGACC helps you regulate sadness, but in depression, it gets stuck in a pain loop. It keeps replaying the emotional hurt without resolution. So you lose perspective, Sadness feels infinite and your system can't tell time normally anymore. That's why depression feels like emotional cement, not because sadness is permanent, but because your brain temporarily thinks that it is. Some survivors go years without crying, not because they don't feel, but because their system learned to lock away sadness to survive. But emotional lockdown isn't strength. It just means the pressure is building on the inside and the longer the sadness is stored, the harder the crash when grief finally erupts. When depression hits, that's literally grief saying, all right, sit down. We're processing this entire backlog now. Stop feeling so sorry for yourself. Sadness requires us to feel sorry for ourselves. It's called compassion. Try it sometime. Sadness isn't here to ruin your day. It's the part of you that believes you deserve comfort. It's your guide, your inner nurturer. Even one minute of checking in with sadness can keep you out of depression's red zone. If you want the deep dive, I wrote an article, Sadness and Grief, What It's Good For. Link in the description. Tomorrow, we'll talk about the two-headed dragon, guilt and shame.